Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Geeta. Today we will be solving 58th problem from IBPS PO 2021 question paper. So the ratio of speed of the boat in still water and stream is 11 is to 1. If the boat covers d kilometer downstream in t minus 0.8 hours and the same boat covers the same distance in upstream in t hours. And the time taken by the boat covers 495 km in still water in 15 hours. Then find the value of t. speed of boat still water which is u is to stream which is v is in the ratio 11 is to 1. If the boat covers d km downstream, so downstream it takes t minus 0.8 hours and for the upstream it takes t hours. Now in the next sentence the data we have here is the time taken by the boat. So time taken by the boat. So t is 15 hours and the distance covered by boat is equals 495 kilometers. So the formula we know here is speed equals distance by time. So substituting the values which is distance we know here is 495 kilometers divided by time we know here is 15 hours. So simplifying this 5 3 times is 15. 5 9 times is 45 and 5 9 times is 45. So which again 3 1 times is 3 and 33 times is 99. So 33 km per hour is the speed the boat traveled in still water. So now we know the speed of the boat in still water is in the ratio of 11 is to 1. So which means we can find the speed of the stream using this. So which is 11 is to 1 is in the ratio. So 11 by 1 is equals 33 is to x. So you can do this in different methods but whichever is easy for you. 11 by 1 is equals 33 by x. So 11x equals 33 where x equals 3 kilometers per hour. That is the speed of the stream. So now we know the speed of the boat is 33 kilometers per hour and the speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour. From the next sentence here. The boat covers d kilometer downstream in t minus 0.8 hours. So from this, for downstream, it is u plus v. So here the distance travel we know here is just d kilometer. In time, for downstream, it is t minus 0.8 hours. The same formula we are applying here, which is speed equals distance by time. The so speed we know here is the speed of the boat in still water plus speed of the stream, which is 33 plus 3. So 33 plus 3 equals Dist speed equals distance by time. So distance we know here is d kilometers divided by time we know here is t minus 0 0.8 from which d equals 33 plus 33 which is 36 times cross multiplication t minus 0 0.8 which is equals d equals 36 t minus 36 times 0 0.8 is equals 28.8. So from the next sentence same boat covers the same distance in upstream in t hours. So for upstream it is u minus v speed equals distance by time so speed we know here is 33 and minus 3 the speed of the boat in still water minus speed of stream equals distance is same d and travel for the upstream it is t hours 33 minus 3 is 30 times t cross multiplication so 33 so comparing these two distance 1 and 2 we can find the value of t 36 t minus 28.8 equals 30t grouping t together which is 36t minus 30t equals 28.8 which is again 4t equals 28.8 28.8 divided by 4 which is equals 4.8 since we know the value of t we can substitute into any of these two equations to find the value of d, d equals 30t so 30 times t we know here is 4.8 so d equals 30 times 4.8 is equals 144 kilometers so the value of d here is 144 kilometers thanks for watching if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments